What's going on? It's your boy SB. Okay, so yes, you read that title correct. Amazon is getting sued for pee bottles. <laughs> I thought I've seen all the YouTube videos of the ex-Amazon people wilding out on Jeff, wilding out on Cousin Jassy, going crazy on the net, but I think this has to be one of the wildest lawsuits that's finna take place. And it's crazy because I have personal experience <laughs> in this situation. I'm not finna join the lawsuit, <laughs> but I'm saying I've done Amazon delivery this is a topic <laughs> you feel me this is a subject this is one of the things i have a video i was supposed to put it out already what's it called um five things they need to change or they need help with it when it comes to amazon delivery this is one of them i might just have to drop that video after this so they have a few press releases that we're gonna go over in a minute but the crazy thing about this is i'm over here reading this and it's just like this is 2023 and a company in america is getting sued by people by their employees because they have to pee in bottles <laughs> now listen first off it sounds funny it sounds crazy but let me tell you when you the one you going behind that van <laughs> dipping through neighborhoods in the rural areas and you got to go to the restroom this is a real thing. And then what they touch on on here is something that I've seen on social media. One of my boys actually told me about this driver as a female. I never thought of it from a female's perspective. I didn't think females was doing this. But there was one of them online talking about it. You feel me? I, I was upset that he told me what she said. Messed up my whole day. I'm not even going to say how she used the bathroom. But this is a thing. And like I said, when it comes to Amazon getting backlash, because this is the thing right here. This lawsuit is against Amazon. Why haven't we seen a lawsuit against Amazon? ups or fedex those drivers deal with the same thing they got harsh routes and they don't get like bathroom breaks at least when it comes to like fedex i know i've talked to those drivers to me this seems more so of a industry issue more than an amazon issue and i'm not sticking up for amazon when i was a delivery driver this is something that's very known that was actually one of the questions i remember with my trainer man how are we supposed to go to the restroom because i didn't know about it until I got in there, and <laughs> they kind of laugh. <laughs> oh, the bathroom, huh? Yeah, you feel me? Like you know, you know how you know. Okay, I see this and this and this. Then we just shoot the bathroom. Is that how it usually goes? They start laughing. Was like, listen, keep some bottles on you. For what? We got um, what like uh, water fountains or you feel me? Like <laughs> why you say that? I didn't know. <laughs> you feel me? I was oblivious to this fact. <laughs> I'm like, what, we get free refills at 7-Eleven or what? You feel me? Bet, let me stack up <laughs> for you to pee in. I'm not for peeing in bottles because let me, <laughs> I need to get into the articles, but it's so much to say. Listen, there was times even at my DSP, my delivery station in the stand-up when basically before shift when they all talk and they give us the rundown for the day, the owner was like, listen, can y'all stop leaving y'all pee bottles in the vans? Other people don't want to clean it out. <laughs> I was like, oh this is real this is a real thing and there were people who when cleaning out their van you know what i mean go to the other side of the door that you know reach in there and it's like a bottle and it ain't apple juice you feel me like can you be the ooh, can you how how angry i need to know this drop this in the comment section how angry what would you or how would you feel if you were cleaning your van you thought it was a bottle that you was gonna throw away and you're holding somebody's just stuff there how would you feel has this happened to me <laughs> thank god it didn't i don't know how i would feel i'm not gonna lie i feel violated you feel me i feel shamed i don't know if i would tell anybody <laughs> listen this is not funny this is not funny but <laughs> i was always very careful when cleaning my van <laughs> listen it's some nasty stuff in these articles i'm not gonna read all of it and also I'm not a representative of the company. I am not a spokesman. And I'm just talking about personal experience. Anybody who's still on the delivery side and still has to deal with this, hey, I'm rooting for you. I'm hoping you get up out of there and get something even better. And hopefully there's some type of resolution to this problem because this is an issue. Anyway, so um, I'll start with the first article. This is with Forbes. And the headline is delivery drivers sue Amazon being forced to pee in bottles. <laughs> That's a crazy, wild headline. When I first came across it, I was like, Anyways, are drivers being forced? This is coming from an ex-driver from Amazon. Do they force you to pee in bottles? No, they don't say here, here's this bottle. They don't force you to do it, 
but it's like you know what I mean? Literally, if you're in a rural area, I personally dealt with that. I had to go all the way back to civilization to go use the restroom, then come all the way back to finish the route that hit me for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes on the routes can make a big difference. So anyways, it says three Amazon delivery drivers have filed a class action lawsuit against the e-commerce behemoth, claiming they face inhumane working conditions that prohibited them from stopping to go to the bathroom while working. It says the lawsuit was filed Monday and a Denver state court alleges Amazon working conditions forced drivers in Colorado to urinate in bottles and, defic and defecate in bags inside of delivery trucks. Yo, you feel me? That was a must have been another one hidden under the rug. I ain't know about that. You feel me? Yo, that's deep. Listen, if you're doing that on the job, you need to leave the job. Find another job as soon as you can. But see, this is the struggle when it comes to Amazon and people conflicting their human, not human rights, but you know what I mean? Just their own conviction of wanting to work there and then leaving. This is the thing the pay, Amazon delivery and Amazon warehouse usually start off higher than other entry jobs for most people. So I think that's why like people are dealing with this. Like why would people deal? That's what I would think and I'm sure that's what most people think. Why would people do this in a bag in the back of a van with customer orders? Or Let me stop because I'll be ordering way too much. Why they put this in the news? This is from Forbes. This is messing up my whole <laughs> Amazon thought now I'm gonna be looking at my bag different whenever I order something <laughs> let me all right let me stop uh, but really though on a mental note because that stuff can mess with you the job alone can mess with you mentally I've been there trust me it's no joke if you're going on this level I would say find something else all right so anyways they go on to say they do that in bags inside the delivery trucks and refrain and this is all alleged you feel me i'm not i'm not saying none of this is true this is what forbes reported we just talking about it because the overall issue so they said they did that in bags inside the delivery trucks and refrain from using the bathroom at risk of serious health consequences the plaintiffs were saying that the amazon's um, harsh work quota and elaborate tracking makes it nearly impossible for workers to veer off course to use a restroom now do they have some harsh work quotas I would have to agree to that. I am one of the ones who didn't take breaks. They talk about that in this lawsuit. Um, you know, people not taking breaks. Now they tell you to take your break. The owner will always tell me, hey, you didn't um, clock out for your lunch. I was like, yeah, I didn't take one. <laughs> he was like, well, you know, you have to take your lunch. I said, yeah, but you know what I mean? That's where the conflict is. It's like, yeah, I should take a lunch, but if I take a lunch, then I'm going to be out delivering at nighttime when I don't feel safe doing that. But I can attest to that sometimes that work quota can be a little harsh. And they say to the elaborate tracking, when it comes to the tracking, they track that vehicle. That's a fact. I've never been questioned when I went anywhere, no matter if it was a break, no matter if I was behind, ahead. That was one thing I was never questioned about. I was never questioned like, hey, where you at? Or boom, boom. And that was one thing I never did. I never asked to go use the restroom. If I had to use the restroom, <laughs> package you feel me delivery hold you're gonna have to wait you feel me <laughs> they be like oh he's two stops away three stops 12 stops 20 miles where what happened <laughs> i'm gone <laughs> you feel me i need to use the restroom i'll be back but i never asked for permission to use the restroom and never got any flack for it here's my tip when i went to the restroom this is and this is another thing they need they, they do need to do something with this bathroom issue because this was a thing i found out real quick and i made the adjustments maybe the second time i only went to starbucks starbucks that was it whenever i needed to use the restroom it was starbucks why is that because it was clean at least the ones for me in scottsdale most starbucks are clean and then plus when i was there i would just buy me a coffee to give me juice stuff for the day but i've been laying off the coffee and caffeine but at least i can say that those bathrooms were clean but it sucks because it's like okay you got to spend money to use the restroom that's what it kind of felt like but you know me i was always trying to look on the positive side but a fact was a fact i had to pay money to go to use a restroom because it's the thing if you go to certain 7-elevens what they say oh the bathroom's broke <laughs> we lost the key <laughs> it's an alien in there he hasn't been out for 12 months bruh you feel me just say <laughs> they got every excuse in the book i would just go i didn't have to use the restroom like hey, can i use the restroom just to see what type of clever lie they would come up with for that week <laughs> But on Amazon side, that's one thing they've never done. They've never been like, no, you can't use a restroom. Use that. You got your bottles. You got your extra bottles. <laughs> they've, they've, they've never done that. But do they need to say that when you have a 
crazy route. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Then it goes on to say such conditions allegedly violate several Colorado wage laws because they force employees to work through the breaks and do not compensate them for missed breaks. The suit says Psh, that's a thing. I'm telling you, that was another blog I was going to do, too, because so many people ask me, how do you not take your breaks? I know for some DSPs, you have to. The phone literally locks you out. Supposedly, that's what I heard. My phone gave you the choice. It would always ask me, you ready to take your 30-minute break? Nope. <laughs> 10 minutes later, hey, you ready to take your 30-minute? Nope. Hey, you ready to take? Nope. And I would decline it the whole shift because I wasn't trying to be out at nighttime. So with me doing that, I missed plenty of my lunches. And then what's kind of crazy is how they kind of like really, oh, this Colorado, three people. This is a Amazon in general delivery, not even just Amazon. This is a, I believe, delivery industry issue. But when it comes to Amazon, it ain't just three people in Colorado. <laughs> you feel me? It was like three people. <laughs> Let me stop. But it's a whole lot. Just in my delivery, it was an issue. So Amazon spokesman did respond or speak to Nine News in a statement and said, we want to make it clear that we encourage our delivery service partners to support their drivers. That includes giving drivers the time they need for breaks in between stops, providing a list within the, the Amazon delivery app of nearby restroom facilities and gas stations, and building in time on routes to use the restroom or take longer breaks. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know I mean? they public relations, they PR, they are on point. They don't skip a beat. They don't miss a step. They don't miss sharp shooters. Now, what they said on here, I think is great. I think they should have this on the delivery apps. I think they should give longer breaks, but why not? You know, but this is why I said, I think Amazon has nothing to worry about. The way that Amazon delivery is set up, the public doesn't even know. I didn't even know until I worked there. All of these delivery vans are not directly Amazon. These are all hundreds of little companies contracted to Amazon. And when I first went to the delivery site, I was like, why is that? That don't even make sense to me. Until you think about it, legally, in so many ways, they can easily just be like, we encourage our delivery partners to support them. That ain't got nothing to do with us. I'm not saying Amazon doesn't care about their employees. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm just saying it's set up in a way to where they could not care. And the legal side would not be on them technically. But I always think they're going to pay attention to the public pressure. And if need be, then they forced the needle due to the public pressure. But all this is just my opinion. Hopefully the awareness of this case um, as it spreads and spreads more so out through the country does something to move Amazon's hand. Will it create a, a blanket, you know, changes to fix the problem? No, I don't think so. But maybe this could be the start of them implementing something to help that situation because it is a situation, not just with Amazon. All these companies, the FedEx, the UPS, not sure. I wonder how um, USPS deals with this. I never really looked on that side to see if anybody complains. I mean, well, they complain but about that. So I don't really know how it is with them. Anyways, I know that was probably longer than it should have been, but this is something I personally dealt with and personally have experienced. Yes, it is an issue that needs to be fixed. Do they lock your doors and throw your GPS on Tesla mode and make you and drive you on your route even when you try to go home? No, you feel me? You can go use the restroom, but it will cost you time. What are you guys' thoughts on this situation? Drop it in the comment section. If you still work there, how do you feel about this? And also, if you guys like the video, be sure to like, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit the notification bell. Yes, I'm also an artist. I go by the name of SB. Do inspiration, motivation, encouragement type music. Just dropped a project called Motivated, and I just dropped a single called I'm On My Grind. Those links will be in the description if you want to check it out. Go stream it up. Show your boy some support. Other than that, it's your boy SB. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Let's go. I'm on my grind. 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 I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind.